welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here happy friday it is friday so you know what that means it is weigh in day. Now you're probably wondering why I'm not in my car because if you follow my channel, you know that I am always filming my weigh in videos in my car on my way to upload and generally go to Jazzercise. So I usually film in my car, but today is a little bit different. If you didn't know, my mother in law unfortunately passed away on Monday of this last week due to complications from COVID as well as sepsis, and COVID led to intense pneumonia basically filling both of her lungs. My mother-in-law was in a wheelchair. She lived in a rehabilitation home due to some ongoing medical issues. So she wasn't necessarily what you would consider to be 100% healthy, but the virus just took its toll on her and rather quickly and within a few days, she had unfortunately passed away. So it's been a very emotional, busy, very busy week. My husband is next of kin. She was not married and there are no other siblings. So it has been very intense for the both of us to try to get all of her affairs in order. Luckily, she didn't own property or anything, which makes it a little bit easier for us because of living in a rehabilitation home. She didn't have a lot of assets that we are trying to figure out what to do with, but there's just a lot of moving pieces involved in taking care of these types of things. So it's been a rough week. It's been a very rough week emotionally on both myself and my husband. So yeah, that's kind of an update of what's happened this week. And so I'm here to share with you kind of how my weigh-in went for the week, share a little bit more about my week. We're going to talk about this week's workshop topic, and we're going to do that all here in my kitchen. So if you're new, make sure you're subscribed and your bell's turned on so that you don't miss a video. I do weigh-ins every single Friday. Thumbs up this video if you love these weigh-ins and you look forward to the workshop topic. And let's jump right into what we talked about at this week's workshop. four of the what happens in your body series that ww is doing this summer so if you didn't know they're doing i believe it's a four or a six week series on what happens in your body so last week we talked about what happens in your body when you eat healthy this week we're going to talk about what happens in your body when you incorporate activity or exercise so we all know that exercise and having regular movement of our body has just a ton of physical positivities including nice toned arms and our body feeling toned up or being able to physically move better and easier but did you know that there are so many immediate side effects from regular activity doing an activity going to a class working out increases levels of mood boosting neurotransmitters such as dopamine and serotonin there are so many immediate benefits of working out don't you agree that we just feel better after a workout sometimes we literally have to drag ourselves to the workout but when it's over we just feel so much better and i find for me that i generally get a big punch of energy after a workout. So quite the opposite of what you may think. You would think you're exhausted, you're tired, you don't want to do anything else. But for me, I actually get that big dose of energy shortly after I finish my workout. Sometimes we need to shift our focus from benefits that we gain from working out down the road, like those nice muscular arms or that toned body. And we need to really focus on what are we getting daily or every time that we work out that keeps us motivated to keep going. Those are the things that are gonna get you to the gym when you need to go. Those are the things that, that are going to help you make it through your workout. The long-term benefits of working out are great, but it's the short-term daily things that we really, really need to focus on those tangible items that we can get every single time we do a workout. So what we can do is on a sticky note or somewhere where you're going to see it, maybe in your daily planner or on your desk, write down what is your motivation to go to the gym? What do you look forward to when you do your workout? Write down a short term intention for doing said workout. Make sure it's in a visible location so that it's always on your mind. And when you're kicking and screaming and trying to drag yourself to your workout, you can take a look at that intentional phrase that you've written down and get that little extra boost of motivation to go to your workout. For me, like I mentioned, I definitely get an energy boost after I finish my workout. I just feel 
better. Those endorphins, those positive endorphins get moving in my body and I just leave my workout feeling better than when I got there. And like I said, sometimes I even have to drag myself to jazzercise. I think it's really important to find a workout that you like and enjoy. I know that some people say, I don't like anything about working out. There isn't a single solitary workout I like, but there's gotta be something that will drive you to keep doing it. There's gotta be something that you enjoy enough to want to go. And for me, you guys know that is jazzercise. So take a moment and really think about the short-term daily effects that doing a regular workout can have on your body. So speaking of workouts, let's kind of talk a little bit about my week. The one really positive thing this week is I was able to get in four jazzercise workouts. That has been my goal and it's been going really well. In fact, this week we're in now, this is the start of my new week. It goes basically Friday to Friday. I have four classes scheduled, so we do have to pre-plan and pre-sign up for classes and I have that in the books to do it four times this week. So again, I'm feeling really good about my exercise. And I, again, I feel really good when it's done and it's over. So looking forward to that. So that was definitely one positive thing that happened this week. This week was a little bit of a struggle food wise. We were so busy getting my mother-in-law's affairs in order that there were times that I just had to wing my meals. I had dinners planned. I had my lunch prep, my breakfast prep, but things just happened. Life happened and I had to kind of wing it. So I didn't make the best food choices this last week. I did stay within my calories most of the week, which was great. I really was calorie focused just because it does give me a little bit more freedom than points. And it's a little bit easier to kind of know where I am calorie wise than point wise. So I, I did the best that I could with the situation that we had going on. And, and to be completely honest, weight loss just wasn't my top priority this last week because I wanted to be there to support my husband and again, to help my husband get everything in order. You guys know men, they aren't as good as we are with getting things organized. They don't necessarily know who to call or what to do or what to say. So I really spent this week focused on helping my husband, which is what I do as a wife. So I absolutely loved being there for him and supporting him. We had some good talks, some good cries. So it was just an emotional, busy, busy week. So with that being said I actually lost 0.4 which is amazing I'll take it not necessarily how I plan on starting out August but we can't always plan how things are gonna go in our life and it's better than gaining. So I'm going to take the point four as an absolutely huge win and really try to refocus this next week willing that things slow down a little bit and get a little bit easier for us on my nutrition again and really focus on my weight loss. And hopefully next week I even have a bigger loss on the scale. So that was kind of in a nutshell what happened this week, how my week went and kind of what I'm doing moving forward into this next week. So that's it, my friends. That's all I have for you today. I hope that you gained some good tips and tricks when it comes to activity and moving your body and how it makes you feel even in the short term and the long term, you know, all those muscles that you're gonna gain. I hope that this helped give you some valuable insight. Thank you so much for all of you that have kindly reached out to me and gave us your well wishes. I did post kind of what was going on on my Facebook group as well as over on my Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram and you're not part of my Facebook group, make sure that you join us. That way you're kind of in the know of what's going on. So thank you again for all of your well wishes. You guys are seriously the best. I'm so grateful for you. I literally was so grateful for you guys so many times this week. So thank you for everything. Thank you for your love and your support. It truly means a lot to me. Give this video a thumbs up again, if you love these weigh in videos and I'll see you all in tomorrow's grocery haul. It is a massive haul. It's my Costco shopping week. So you're going to be in for a ton of groceries. Thank you guys again for hanging out with me on this Friday and I'll see you in tomorrow's grocery haul. Bye. Funny how the story goes, little hope of bigger dreams